fellowship for young people and then fellowship for postdoctoral programs okay so i'm going to be sharing two basic fellowships today one for young people and then people young people that are interested in leadership and then the other for those that want to go home for So let's get to our system as we go through the procedure for application, okay? So, so this is the web page um, for the application of Who Fought Youth Fellowship. Now, it's a world movement for democracy project, and this is fully funded program to Washington, D.C., USA. And this is basically for youth leaders. So, the Hufford Youth Fellowship Program seeks to build the leadership skills and harness the potential of young democracy activists from a, around the world. Now, through the program, young activists spend three months at the World Movement Secretariat, during which they expand their global connections, share experiences with other activists from democracy movements around the world, and contribute to the development of the World Movement for Democracy. Now, Hufford Youth Fellows engage in strategic meetings, conduct research, and then organize and lead presentations, online discussions, information sharing sessions, and all the rest of them. So basically, the eligibility it's on the space so let's just get straight into the page here you have the who Ford. um then do you have great ideas about how to promote democracy in your community are you ready to build your leadership skills would you like to meet other youth leaders from around the world now's your choice we will start accepting applications for Hufford Youth Fellowship beginning from June 1st. The last day to submit your application is July 31st, 2022. So if your answer or the response you have to the questions I've already um, read out, if your responses are in the affirmative, then you need to apply for this fellowship. So if we move down further, it's going to take us to this point and then you can see for more details about the fellowship you can click here and then to apply for the fellowship you can click here i've always said that before you make any applications be, before you make any application please be sure that you've gone through every of the requirements and details to be sure that you are qualified and then to be sure that you actually you're actually passionate about what you are applying for so that it can also reflect in your statement okay of interest now you can see some fellows that have gone through this program. That's Mawa and see what she has done in Sudan. And then there's Sophia Santi and from Venezuela. And then you can still proceed. And then you see more fellows that have gone through this program. And then this um What's his name? Um, Ejaz Ahmad is from Afghanistan. So you just need to go through and see the fellows reports. Now let's get to um details about the program so while i'm opening the details for the program i'm also opening apply here so here you have the details so you can download this and read it thoroughly so you can see the details about the program and then here is the application proper so here on this page you log in with your existing net fellowship organization account and if you don't have the next thing is to create your own a new account so you click on this and put in your email address and then submit now when you do this they're going to send a message to your email and then you confirm your your interest and once you do that they will now send other details for this application to you so i'm going to stop here because i i don't need to apply for this i'm I don't need to apply for this because I'm actually not um, within the age bracket of those that are needed for this program. There's actually requirements or eligibility. So let me just give you the eligibility. Applicants interested in Hufford Youth Fellow Program must be not older than 30 years of age. Now they must demonstrate strong interest in democratic activism and in the advancement of democracy in their respective countries as well as worldwide. Youth affiliated with civil society organizations are especially encouraged to apply. Now the program is not an educational program offering academic courses leading towards a degree now. In addition, it does not provide financial support to those seeking to complete professional training programs, attend conferences or pursue internships 
internships at other organizations. So the program is just outrightly for this particular um, training for the youth activists and those that want to actually promote democracy in their own country. And you mustn't be beyond the age of 30. And then the language is English. Now, a working knowledge of English is an important prerequisite for participation in the program. And then all application materials must be submitted in English. Now, let me just tell you the benefits for applying for this. Now, for the benefits, um, let's go down. For the benefits, you're going to see a lot of things one is that the fellowship support and services now each fellow will receive a monthly stipend for living expenses plus basic health insurance and road trip travel to and from washington dc now stipends take into account the cost of living in washington dc fellows are provided with a fully equipped office including internet and email access. Now, the World Movement Secretariat staff plays a vital role in helping fellows realize their fellowship objectives. And then you can get net houses, a democracy resource center, you have access to this, which includes a library with some 20,000 works, including books, journals, guarantee reports. And then you also have access to the DRC's expert staff members who would assist you and also the fellows that have passed through this program, your cost of living, it's taken care of, and then a lot of other benefits. I mean, this is going to add up to your CV and it's going to also promote your opportunities in your respective countries, especially when it comes to advancement of qualities. So I actually encourage you to read all through this. It's going to guide your application, okay? So just take your time. So here is the second fellowship, the WordPress Institute Fellowship. So why become a WPI fellow? you're going to gain access to engage in and observe the role, responsibility, and impact of a free press firsthand in one of the world's largest, most diverse democracies. Through an immersive program, you will learn how the U.S. funding principles of a free press and journalistic best practices help foster transparency and accountability of government institutions, businesses, and organizations, including the most powerful ones. So basically, this particular fellowship, it's more for, for press guys, um, journalists, and related fields. So here is a program itinerary. Fellows must commit a demanding nine-week cross-country program that begins and ends in the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota. And here we have C2022 itinerary. See past itineraries so you can click on any of those two. So we we'll move down here is the program course. WPI pays the following program expenses transportation, round trip effort to the United States, travel within the United States related to the WPI program, lodging, food. Fellows receive a modest daily allowance to purchase food. And then fellows are responsible for personal expenses such as phone, camera, postage, and clothing. So that's it. And then we'll click on the fellowship and then get to how to apply. So this is how to apply. And then we're also going to see the deadline on this particular um, page of how to apply. How to apply becoming a WPI fellow. Becoming a WPI fellow is a competitive process. Each year, hundreds of talented journalists apply for 10 fellowship slots. A selection committee of seasoned journalists and corporate communication specialists, all with international experience, choose among the best of the best. So how to apply? Before applying, please review the eligibility requirements, terms of fellowship, and guidelines below. So here is the eligibility, fellowship terms, letter of recommendation, work sample so we click on the eligibility and that's it at least five years of full-time employment in print broadcast or online journalism including news or editorial departments of newspapers wire services radio television websites or online publications so you just need to go through this um you have to be fluent in written and spoken english 
you have potential for then if you now move further and click on fellowship terms um, it's going to take us to this point prepare for and participate in all briefings and wpi scheduled events stay through the entirety of the program and return to home countries when the program ends write for the wpi website among other outlets as assigned and then you move down to willingness to travel the program locations change frequently and fellows often leave out of suitcases okay so letter of recommendation i click on that too um and here is the letter of recommendation what is expected Applicants are required to submit the names and email addresses of three professional references. References will be contacted by WPI to submit online letters of recommendation. References should be familiar with the applicant's work and able to comment in English on their journalistic abilities, potential for growth, leadership abilities. One reference should be a direct supervisor. Letters must be in English and uh, and address the applicant's experience, qualifications, and potential. So you can still move further to click on work samples. Uh, and then here is the work sample, the general, the print journalist, and all the rest of them. So coming to this point, you have thank you for your interest in WPI fellowship application for March 2023. Program are now being accepted. The deadline for completed applications is September 15, 2022. So you have ample time to go through this particular fellowship uh, if you are eligible to apply for it. Now, the 2023 WPI fellows will be announced in early December 2022. So I'm going to click on apply. So I'm going through this page so that when you open up your own page, um, the, the things here would be familiar and then you will easily go through it. So you can see user login, user name or email, password. But since this is your first time of coming to this page, you can just go and create a new account. OK, so you can still read through this before creating your new account. Frequently asked questions, applications for March 2020. March 2023 program are now being accepted. The deadline I've, oh, I've already um, announced this earlier, September 15, 2020. So I'm going to click on create new account here and it's going to take you to the page where you have to create a new account. If you are applying for the fellowship, please read the eligibility requirements on the how to apply page before you register for an application password applicants who do not meet the eligibility requirements will not be considered if you are a fellowship applicant please be sure to check the rule box marked applicant references and all the rest of them so you can still move down and down and if you're sure you meet up with the eligibility requirements you can now go on to create your new account filling your username your email address confirm your email and then fixing your desired password, confirm your password. And then once you're done with this, filling up all these things, then an account, you can click on create new account. So an account will be created for you so you can proceed with your application. So that's it for WPI Institute Fellowship. I mean, if you're a journalist, you're into WordPress and print press, you know, this is a great opportunity for you it's just about nine weeks program in the United States of America. So you just have to give this a try and see you over there. So thank you. That's what we have for you today. I hope to hear that you have applied um, for this very program in order to improve yourself and advance yourself in the area of leadership. So that's all we have for you today. Thank you.